Got it. All anomalies extracted. <laughs> what is up with that look? Hey, good work. Assuming you have really, really low standards. Wow, B minus. What is he doing? Like Sudoku? Come on, procedure score. Yes! Penalties too? Oh. <laughs> He's getting very, very, very upset with this. See, Henry, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't fun. Now what? We we send off the biopsy to the lab and wait for the results. That's Henry's blood? Like as opposed to what? Yep, we just did his talk screen. Ready to do the CBC? You know, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an astronaut. You know, that's a little off topic. Really? One day I saw this show on TV about astronaut training where the guy was strapped into a centrifuge. I got nauseous just watching it. Nos nauseous. 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 <laughs> just watching it. I'm getting nauseous playing this game. <sighs> Let's focus. We got a CBC to do. Okay, Pukey McGee? Okay. Oh, I, that's why they, they mentioned space. Okay. Spin the centrifuge in a circular motion. Maintain optimum speed indicated by the green arrow. Oh. Oh. Oh god. What do I do? Wait. Spin. Oh, I literally, I think I literally have to do this. Where's the green arrow? What am I doing? Okay, okay. Literally, I have to just move in circles. Oh shit! Oh my god! Okay! <laughs> That's too fast! Holy shit, I'm gonna kill this guy. No, it's like freaking out! Oh my god! This is very sexual right now. Oh, I'm not in the green. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I'm so gonna get penalized for this. Okay, I think we did good. This is my hospital, okay? And I'm here to tell you, you need to start doing a better job. You gotta spin that mouse a little bit better. Okay, we gotta do it again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's like a carnival ride. Okay. Okay. Gotta hold the speed. Got it. And this is why we don't let custodial staff pr practice medicine. Wait, you're not the janitor? Oh, you. You're already such a kidder. Process the blood sample with the blood analyzer by adjusting valves and motors as indicated. What? What am I doing? Click on the valves to toggle them between open and closed and spin the motors by drawing a circular motion around them. Detailed instructions will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. Open valves 1 and 4 to permit the blood sample and cyan region to flow into the system. Okay. 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 <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Oh, okay. Make sure valves 9, 10, 11, and 12 are closed to prevent flow to later stages of the analysis. Okay, so close um where's nine 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 that's closed this is not closed now they're closed make sure valve seven and eight are open spin motors a and b keeping them within the green rpm range indicator until the mixing chamber is full <laughs> huh I don't know what I do. Do it at the same time. 
Blood analysis complete. Right on time. Keep it up and I'm going to get you that mug that says world's great. Look at that! And look at all the trophies. Man. There's one with a car on it or something. It's relevant. <laughs> You've been doing great lately. If you need a consult on anything, I'll be happy to help. He likes me. You've done a great job so far. This next procedure should be very easy for you. <laughs> um, alright. Sort each of the microbes in the sample by moving it to the designated petri dishes. What? What are these? Like, eggs? Like, over-easy eggs? What kind of microbes are those? I, am I literally doing this? This is part of the game. Look how quick I am. Arr, arr. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. I got I got a little cocky there. Sorry. Hmm, popcorn. Where does this go? Huh? Okay. That does not look like that at all, but whatever. Come on, give me more. I can handle this. Alright, I just need some more scrambled, or not scrambled, over easy eggs, rather. One more- oh, I got it all. You've processed all of the microbes. <gasps> An A! You know, most people go for mediocrity, but not you. Nice work. That's right. <laughs> Only reason I got an A- minus was because I jumped the gun on that one microbe. Yes! A penalty seven?! I hope that's like all- oh, it's total. So it's okay, we're doing good. Hmm, the CBC is negative for malaria. Oh well, back to the drawing board. Who is this? <laughs> uh. Woo! Are you Gwen Walton, producer of Globetrotting? Because I wrote this screenplay and you've got to read it. Is Henry okay? We think Henry has Penicillium Marnefi, Marnefe, Marnefi, which he likely contracted in some third world germ factory like Malaysia or Detroit. Ouch. That can't be right. He can't have anything like that. Oh, do tell. You're the expert. Bad smell? Oh, why do you smell so bad? How often does Henry change his clothes, or is that just his natural scent? Do you think his condition might be hygiene related? I guess she was not impressed. How about exotic pets? Did Henry ever buy any exotic pets while overseas? And he's an old guy, so hopefully he didn't mistake an Asian kid for a pet. He once bought a cockatoo years ago. Why is that important? Wow, we're not doing well. Why are you so certain it isn't Penicillium Marnefi? Did you get one of those online PhDs? Phoenix University. I just know Henry. He, uh, he probably just got the flu. What do you know, lady? Uh, working hours. I don't know. What kind of hours does Henry work and napping doesn't count? Why? Does he look exhausted? She is like throwing shade at me. Some exotic disease could be ravaging Henry's body at this very moment. Isn't that cool? I mean, aren't you worried? He's had all sorts of exotic diseases before, but this time, trust me, it's nothing like that. Y you know, being vague is not helping. Oh, whoops! Oh, I accidentally selected diarrhea! <laughs> <laughs> that went too quick! <laughs> the last time Henry had the flu, was diarrhea part of the equation? Was calculus part of the equation? He... he had stuff coming out of both ends. Do you really need to know this? Can you stop with being vague? What is your secret? I want to ask you about sex, but what is your secret? <laughs> is there something you're not telling me? Something... sexy? <laughs> Look, I want Henry le released from this hospital immediately. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for an appointment. Tell me about your sex life. Oh, it's gone. Uh, let's see. 
work conditions, seems. Does Henry work around any respiratory irritants like silicone? What I mean is, are your breasts real? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm sure it's not a respiratory problem. Vaccina vaccinations? Makes sense. Before Henry went to Malaysia, why wasn't he vaccinated for common diseases like malaria or typhoid? Is he one of those guys who gets off on puking? Henry's got a strong immune system. We're doing good, I think. Um, she said it was in Malaysia. Special effects. I just want to know what that means. What sort of chemicals do you use in the special effects on this show? And don't say Viagra, although I guess that does cause a special effect. No chemicals, just dry ice to simulate fog at times. Where were you when Henry was in Malaysia? Please tell me you were mer- <laughs> What is up with this guy and like fake boobs and sex? Moonlighting at a strip club? I was here in the globetrotting production offices going over the show's budget. And then you went to the strip club. I ain't got time for this. I'm sorry, I do have an appointment. Quote, an appointment. A sexy appointment. House, we've been looking all over for you. I've been looking all over for you. Well, no, I haven't, but I'm big on one-upmanship. Foreman, 13, this is Gwen. She's Henry's producer. Her boobs might be fake. As I've said repeatedly, I must be going. Good luck with your- see, he's doing it too. He's putting it in quotes. Appointment. Appointment? Yes, 13, good point. What appointment is she talking about? Follow Gwen and find out the answer to that question. Really get into her personal business. So there I was, <coughs> in the Amazon, trying to make my way across a rope bridge. <laughs> Look at how he's like, wow, this is horrible. Directly below me, a family of hungry crocodiles snapping at my ankles, and then the rope bridge started to snap. <laughs> like my brain. Oh, oh, I know what happened next. Then Santa Claus took you to the magical kingdom of ice cream and feasted on rainbows. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that was a good episode. House, this guy's a legend. If by legend you mean big fat liar, then I agree. Let me tell you something, young man. I almost got eaten by crocodiles. His BP is climbing. Uh, you okay? Uh, my chest. <clears throat> oh, shit. Well, it's not penicillium monophi because that doesn't make you look like an anchovy pizza. I was just gonna say that. Lab results from the lung biopsy are negative. We'll be back with a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Aw, look at this buddy. This buddy buddy shot. There's something he's not telling us. Go to his house, see what you can find. Toxins, clues, the rock he used to kill Abel. Yes, go break into the guy's house. Oh, that's nice. So this is Henry Richter's house. Impressive. Yeah, just one more reason for Chase to idolize the guy. What in the fuck is this thing? Like, his gimp mask? Oh, it's terrifying. Like, this and this do not go together. Come on, when you were a kid, wasn't there anyone on TV you admired? Sure, then I grew up. Now, can we just look around and get out of here? Ugh, oh, man, okay. Locate 18 clues in Henry's house that may lead to a diagnosis for his condition. Let's see here. We definitely have to find something in the spice rack. Come on, curry powder. I, I know the cigar, but I like the spice rack. Yes, a photo. Do that. Let's see, um, pizza box, that's gotta be one. Oh, whoops, ah, zoom. 
Uh, old fucking Windex, definitely. Another photo. This is so illegal, I can't even imagine. Sandwich, oh, moldy sandwich. Wine. Oh, these don't look out of place, but I can't collect- Oh, I can't collect the boots. Um, the singing fish. Collect samples of them. It's just one of those things that sings. Take me to the river. Drop me in the water. It's really bad. I can't hit that note. Houseplant. Uh, let's see. What else? <laughs> okay. Collect samples of the mounted bear head. Why not? It's a clue. It's legit. It's like I'm not in control of my own body. Well, to be fair, there's not much of a body to be in control of. <laughs> wow, house. You're a dick. Okay, Skeletor, let's check you out. 